Hello. You are looking at a standard design rotary system for thermal assembly or ultrasonic welding. This machine is built on a heavy duty machine frame that includes locking caster wheels, forklift tubes for moving the machine around, shelves for power supplies, electrical NEMA enclosures with all the electronics inside, a dial table that's electronically indexed, a remote start system with single pound button, start stop, e stop, and reset. Also included in this machine is this setup control. It gives you uh, all kinds of options to look at. For example, status of the I.O. The load and unload system is protected by light curtains that when we're running the machine allows the operator to load parts while maintaining behind a guard the moving parts. I'm going to operate the machine now and show you what I mean by that. This machine will continue to index until I break the light curtain and when it stops it continues to operate. Anytime the light curtain is broken, the machine stops. This is so we can load and continue to weld underneath here. It's also equipped with auto eject so that the operator can continue to just stand and load parts, which I'm gonna demo now for you by auto loading parts into the machine. Now you see the sonic welder is running. and the auto eject is ejecting the machine. You also notice that if there are no parts in the machine, thus the welder will not operate. That's because right here, you can see under my hand, we have a part presence sensor which uses laser reflectivity to ensure that the parts are there. Anytime I break the light curtain, The system is also equipped with all hinge doors. All three sides have hinge and locking doors, which, by the way, are all equipped with sensors. Should the machine shut down, you can see it's in. The process has been interrupted. I'm going to reset remotely. Home the table. Ready to go. That's an e-stop function. We also have that same function to protect the operator here while she's loading parts. If for some reason she breaks this light curtain, this is the guard that prevents those welders and robots or any other moving parts from moving so that we can continue to make parts while still loading in the system. We set the welder again on the table. Go back to mode and we're ready to go.